Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. Do like and subscribe if you like our content. So for today's video, I'm just going to talk about a little bit about one of the problems we've been having throughout 2021, which is the high feed cost. So one of the most important financial parameter is known as the feed conversion ratio, which is actually the amount of feed required to gain one kilo of fish. So normally in the pond side, how do we measure this is we calculate the amount of feed that we need uh, based on the usage and how much was given throughout the culture cycle divided the amount of fish that is being harvested from the pond. So that gives us an indication on FCR. More than often, uh, the ideal value for an FCR is about one, whereby we put one kilo of feed to get one kilo of fish, but usually that's not possible. A uh, typical FCR is about 1.5 to 2, which we take 2 kilo of feed to produce 1 kilo of fish. But of course, in reality, in a pond base, that will be normally in terms of tons. So these are some of the feed brands out there uh, in the market. We have UP, Unipresident, and we also have Blanca from CP. There are many other feed producers such as Goldcoin and many more. So the reason why we are talking about FCR today and how to reduce it is because there is a significant impact on profitability. So let's take an example, which is uh, tilapia, which is commonly farmed across Southeast Asia, has an FCR about 1.5 to 2. So the selling price for a 250 to 400 gram of fish is actually about 1.625 US dollars per kilogram. And the feed cost per kilogram is 0 0.8. So assuming that if your FCR is 1.5, the cost of feed alone is already, you can see from the chart here, is 0 0.8 multiplied by 1.5, which gives you 1.2 US dollars per kilo. That gives you a remaining margin of 43 cents US dollars uh, to account for other things like utility, manpower, rental, and amortization. But if your FCR is actually 2, what happens tends to be your, you can see that your feed cost alone is already 1.6, leaving you a very, very thin margin, which is 0 0.025 US dollars per kilogram. And this is not accounting some of the major cost impact, such as utility and manpower. So obviously, FCR is really important number to keep track, especially if you're producing fish or shrimp, because it will determine your profitability. So it is actually very important for businesses to try to manage this FCR. And here I've given you a few parameters on how to contribute or how to reduce that, that number. So what farmers can typically control includes having good water quality by ensuring you either have a RAS system or you have adequate good quality water supply for water change. You install enough paddle wheels or aerators to ensure that you have good oxygen availability um, if they do not have enough oxygen, most likely the feed would not be converted efficiently into biomass. However, there are also other things that farmers might have difficulty to control. For example, the quality of the fingerlings, which also plays a very important part in FCR. And the next one is actually feed quality. So for those who are not very familiar in the aquaculture industry, not all feeds are produced the same. For example, as you can see over the chart here, um, throughout the years 2018 to 2019, 2020 to 2021, you can see generally the soybean price has been increasing throughout the year. So when the soybean, which is a principal component in the feed, it becomes very high, what feed mills will tend to do is to swap into other ingredients to reduce cost. So this is why the quality of the feed might not be consistent all year round, and it depends on the fluctuating fluctuation of the prices of raw materials such as soybean, fish meal, and corn meal, for etc. So this is just an example of the varying feed quality and you, most of the time farmers will not have enough capabilities to sort of test out what is actually being put out in the feed especially if you're if you're considering most of the farmers in asia have typically one to two acres of, of land which is a small scale uh, farmers so how do we deal with fluctuations in feed quality so one of the ways that we have done um, we have run our fish farms is to incorporate the usage of enzymes so this uh, diagram on the right shows that how the enzyme actually works in theory. So it is able to break down a complicated substrate. So you can see by the two red color uh, 
cylinders, uh, then you get two of a sphere being broken down by the enzyme. So this enzyme is actually, uh, it promotes digestion with the aid of external enzyme. External meaning that we apply this enzyme onto the feed separately uh, before providing them to the fish. And on top of that, what we realized we could do is to attempt to incorporate more plant-based ingredients. So for those who are very familiar with the aquaculture industry, there's actually a type of economical feed which has uh, less protein and more plant-based material. So what we realized is we could incorporate some of this enzyme to extract more value of this cheaper feed and it can almost perform as the same as your typical conventional feed. So that's a really cost saver in the long run. So for us to understand the enzyme technology, um, so here's some of the basic economics using the model that we had earlier on. So we we'll just be using the tilapia farming example. So we can see that um, assuming the FCR is 1.25 to 2, the selling price is 1.625 US dollars, the feed cost is 0 0.8, and the enzyme cost per kilogram is actually 25 US dollars per kilo. So a lot of people might be put off by this high cost of enzyme. So but you need to take note that the application for these enzymes are typically very low, which is in the range of 0.4%. Um, and based on a lot of publications uh, that I've seen online, uh, you can probably go and Google uh, this on the web. You can see an FCR reduction of about 10 to 12%. And this is by applying the enzyme directly onto the feed itself. For some of the bigger, uh, bigger fish farm, you might be able to coax your feed meal into applying the enzyme directly during the feed palletization process, right? And the enzyme cost is typically about $25 US per kilo. So you can see that if FCR, so for the first case, you can see that if the FCR reduces about 12%, which brings 1.5 down to 1.32, uh, we can see that it reduces the amount of feed. And on top of that, of course, with the reduction in feed, we also have to incur additional cost due to the enzyme. So the total cost now is 1.18 US dollars, which is slightly a 3% increase from the base case. Um, and if you look at our second example, where you reduce the FCR from 2 by 12%, which gives you 1.76, we can see that the cost saving when the FCR is high, it's actually hit higher, which we can increase 8% in terms of our margin. So that's a really important point to take note. Um, although yes, we might have to spend uh, additional cost due to enzyme, but the incorporation of this enzyme along with the reduction in FCR, which is only about a modest 12%, would have quite a big impact on your production business. We have modeled this case using 0 0.8 US dollars per kilo, which is the tilapia, which is the current price for the tilapia feed at the moment. This price is more likely con will continue to increase, which will further drive the need for enzyme technology. But if we were to look at some other feed, such as shrimp feed or tiger prawn feed, which can be in the range of 1.2 US dollars per kilogram, the application of this enzyme will actually bring more value because of the higher feed cost higher feed to enzyme cost. So that's a really important to concept to take note. So for those who might be wondering how can we apply some of our feed, um, this is how we do it. So you can see that we here we have uh, some trim feed, right? So what we tend to do over here is to just to grab some uh, enzyme over here and just apply it directly onto the feed and you will apply it directly to the shrimp or the fish pond. So do take note that for farmers that have bigger uh, facilities, you might be able to get your feed meals to start to incorporate this enzyme directly into the feed itself using a spray coating. So you, you need to have certain volume to do that. And for most of the farmers that are based in Malaysia, we do we are currently selling some of our enzymes on Shopee as well. So I'll provide a link for you to purchase the enzyme. Uh, so that you can improve some of the FC on your location. All right, so that's all for this um, session. Uh, we hope you enjoy this video and you have learned something about how to reduce costs with using enzyme by reducing FCR and the feed conversion and how does that translate into economical impact. If you like our content, uh, we hope to see you again at Rasa Culture. Do like and subscribe and I hope to see you again.